Uh, this is your mic. Oh, this is my mic? Yes. All right. All right. Shout out to Emily who just came before me. She was incredible. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Eat Denver. Are we pumped or what? I'm pumped. <laughs> GM, GM, what, what a vibe. First time to Eat Denver, but this place is phenomenal. Super, super excited to talk to you about Valiant. We are the third largest global comic brand in the world, and we are in the NFT space community first. And it's really, really exciting. This is a little bit about us. Not only do we do comics, but we do huge films. We just recently were in Deadline Hollywood, which is like Variety, about a new movie that we have coming out, directed by the director who did all the Maze Runner films. So you can see we're featured in the New York Times, The Hollywood Reporter, all sorts of big places. And we have an incredible history, 30 years of IP with over 2,000 characters and it's a global, global, decentralized universe, but we're all together. We have over 2,000 characters. And this talk is about Valiant and our strategy and our upcoming drops, but it's also for, how many DGENs do we have in the audience? Raise your hand if you're a DGEN. All right. This is for DGENs. This is for collectors. This is for ETH maxis. This is also about storytelling. Because as we all know, we're all big collectors on Ethereum, I suspect. I am, I'm sure many of us are. That's why we're at ETH Denver. And we love collecting our PFPs, but none of them come with story. We have 30 years of telling stories. And what we want to do is we want to onboard more people into our space. Because the more people that get onboarded into our space, the more we all win. And we're going to do that through telling stories. So what we did is we have over 2,000 characters in our universe. So we went to a data scientist and we said, can you take these 2,000 characters and put them in a way for us to be able to showcase this to other people that are fans of Valiant? And they came up with this. And I think it's stunning. To me, it really should be minted on super rare. This is, this is, this is a one of one. And as you can see, this is... This is about our connected universe. So these are characters, where they come from, the settings, all of these characters and their world and their world building. So, about our drop. For those of you who may not already know, we had our Mint Pass drop two weeks ago, sold out instantaneously. We never made it to public, sold out on pre-sale, and it was 0.3 and it got you six NFTs. So really, really incredible value because this Mint Pass will get six NFTs. You can see we're featured in all these wonderful trade magazines and it'll also give you utility. So we're all, we're all big Mint Pass fans. This Mint Pass, if you didn't get it, my recommendation, ape in on the secondary. It's on OpenSea. And so what do we have coming out? We have our first character drop Monday. Who's excited? I'm pumped. I am so pumped for our first character drop. And we have 2,000 characters in our world. And our first character is Punk Mambo. Punk Mambo, will you please come on up? How amazing is Punk Mambo? Woo! Punk Mambo. Punk Mambo is a badass female punk from the 1970s. She grew up in London. She moved to New Orleans. She has this incredible voodoo loa power that is quite incredible. Now, what makes Valiant, our world, so special is that these characters that we have, Punk Mambo, is gray. She's like us. She's not all good. She's not all bad. So when you look at some of the other big comic brands, you know right away, that's the hero, that's the villain. They pick up a meteor, they throw it against another planet, and that planet explodes. The Valiant characters are much more representative like us. They're diverse, they're global, and one of the things Punk Mambo can do, like let's say she wants to, you, what's your name on the, uh, with you on the phone over here? 
Oh, he doesn't even he doesn't even see me. Leo, Leo over here. So let's say Punk Mambo wants to, you know, pick your pocket. She is able to have somebody whisper right behind you. So you look behind you, and then she reaches in your pocket, takes the money, and she's gone. So that's that's how Punk Mambo does it. She's she is so cool, and what makes her really special, along with many things, is that. She was a second-tier character in the comic world, but the community absolutely loved her, and they brought her up to be a first-tier character. And when we were entering the NFT space, we wanted to go with a female character first, who represents, Punk Mama represents female empowerment, independence, rebellion. She is badass. She doesn't, I mean, like, she doesn't take shit from anybody. And we're really, really proud to be leading with her. And also... Valiant, we're very proud to be working with the community. So we were at NFT Basel a couple months ago. We sat down with a lot of great DGENs and leaders in the space to listen to them, to get their feedback. And we didn't partner with a marketplace. We could have partnered with a marketplace. A lot of the big brands do it. But what we wanted to do was be in this space for the long term, community first. So Punk Mambo is the first drop of six... NFT characters that we have coming out this year. This is a little bit of Punk Mambo. This is, this is representative of her setting. You've got New Orleans here. You've got her voodoo power. I mean, Punk Mambo. Give a round for Punk Mambo. She is awesome. Now, this is a little bit about the drop. Here's some alpha. If you have the mint pass, you can get the drop on Sunday. If you're on the allow list which I may give some alpha about that in a few moments, you will be able to mint it on, sun, on Monday, and then Tuesday is the public sale. So you can see these are some pieces of the generative art. It's a generative art. It's .077, and there's 4,001 of them. 4,001 because if you're a Valiant fan, you will know that comes from one of our comics, Rye, and it is very... Uh, it's, some, it's some inside knowledge. But Punk Mambo has a very rich story. She has a rich, incredible story, and we are going to lean into that story in the NFT drop. And what do we have coming up soon? These are also, these are also by the way, some of our big, big characters. We have Exo Man of War, Shadow Man, uh, all these incredible characters in our Valiant universe. So watch out for them coming soon in our NFT space. Play to earn game. So a lot, of, a lot of, as we know, collectors, a lot of people on the roadmap have a PDE game. And they have these kind of grandiose ideas. They're going to do a cartoon. They're going to do a play to earn game. They're going to make a movie. All these crazy things. And we, we love it. But how many have executed on it? Not too many. Because why? It's really, really hard and very expensive to make a game, to make a movie, to do a cartoon, to do these big things. But we have an incredible team. We've made games, we've made big studio films. This is our background, this is our world. So, Punk Mambo, when you ape in on Monday or Tuesday on the public sale, my opinion, hold on to her because she's gonna have a lot of utility in the play to earn game, which is coming out in a few months. Very excited. The utility on it is gonna be awesome. Here's our roadmap. Just a little bit of the fun stuff we have coming up. Already, as you can see from our roadmap, we started back in December. Actually, we started about nine months ago thinking about how to get in the NFT space, community first. And then we really, really talked to all the top people in the space, collectors, founders, visionaries. So we really started working December. Now, January, we did all these po-ops. We're huge fans of po-ops. Who likes po-ops? Raise your hand if you like po-ops. Love po-ops. So we, we've been giving out po-ops. We have incredible collaborations with some of the top communities in the space. Big shout out to our partnership with Subducks, just announced yesterday. Huge Subducks. We've come collaborations, allow list for Knights of DGen, for allow list spots for Punk's comic, allow list for... Uh, dead fellas, allow list for crypto monkeys. We have incredible communities that have our allow list that are just, we're huge fans of. Quarter two, we've got our play to earn game. We have 
Armor Clad's coming up, which is the first IP that we have released in many, many years. It's coming up as a comic, and Armor Clad's will be very deep in the NFT space as well. Think, I can't even, I can't give you too much alpha on it because it's like, it's, it, it'll blow your mind. <laughs> Here's a little bit about Valiant's Kreef, Chief Creative Officer and CEO, Dan. Dan Mintz is a significant, incredible director. He started directing commercials, music videos, and then very large studio films. So this is a little bit about Dan, uh, you know, schmoozing with the celebrities. That we're, because this company is about artists and creators. It's, it's, it's a big brand, but we, we're about creators, and it's led by an incredible creator with Dan. So, I said we'd have some alpha. You gotta have a po-op if you come, come to this Eat Denver Punk Mambo talk, right? You gotta have a dope po-op. So, right after my talk, if you see me scan my phone, you will get a po-op, and you will get on the allow list for the Punk Mambo Drop. So, the Punk Mambo Drop will be on Monday for all of you on the allow list. That is Valiant, and before we end, I want to show you something, something a little fun here. As we enjoy our fabulous Eat Denver. Here we go. Let's load her up. You're not getting sound, but this is a little bit of our punk mambo trailer. How rad is that? Punk Mambo! Woo! Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being in the community, being community leaders. If you're at Eat Denver, you're a community leader, no doubt about it. And we're just really pumped about our drop this week and all the drops coming up. And for the next year, our strategy and everything we're doing in the NFT space. So thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for listening and us building NFTs and Web3 together. And if you want a picture with Punk Mambo, she will be floating around. <laughs>